Hello Aquarius, welcome to Brutally Do Tarot and this reading is for the 2nd half of August. So let's check what are the messages for you and uh, what you can expect in love in the 2nd half. Messages for Aquarius. Daughter of Graves, Judgment, Daughter of Scepters, Three of Skulls, and uh, Nine of Skulls. Okay, so here we have Daughter of Graves. With this Daughter of Graves, someone is really attracted to you. Someone is uh, feeling like they just can't resist this pull. I don't know, probably for many of you. Uh, this is a new relationship but um, whatever it is this person is uh, feeling that you are mysterious and uh, you are not letting them know who you are actually or you're not letting them see whatever they want to see it's like um, knowing you completely this person wants more more than whatever you're giving and um, with this card of judgment this person is also overthinking, like they are judging you without even knowing you completely. This person is looking at you and they think that you must be arrogant or you can say you must be very hard to um, win. Like uh, you are someone who thinks really highly of uh, themselves and they cannot give you your word, they cannot prove you that they love you. You would want something special and they will have to move mountains to grab your attention. This is someone who is thinking too much. Okay, even if it is an old relationship, this person is now feeling that maybe time has not uh, made you trust them. Like uh, there is something uh, that is still hiding. This person feels like you don't trust them enough and uh, you are still not opening up. You are still not completely giving them what they want to get. And uh, this person is judging you inside their head like um, maybe you want uh, to test them even more. Like you want to put some more obstacles or you are going to take some more time. You want to see who they are. So this person is judging your personality according to their own ideas. It has got nothing to do with you. The fact is not only you are this daughter of grace, soft, seductive, mysterious, but you are also this daughter of scepters, wild, fierce, and lovable. Someone who can take control, someone who can dominate. This person just cannot uh, resist you. It looks like this person has found the universe inside you. Of course you are the universe but here um, someone else realizing that is something rare and this person thinks that um, you know you are here for them like uh, the universe made you for them and uh, you have got everything so with this three of skulls this person is uh, weaving this net and this is about their dream this is about something um, that they cannot uh, say but they are thinking this is about their fantasies this is about um, something that they thought <laughs> they would tell you but whenever they want to tell you they just uh, stop they start thinking about what would you think are you going to judge them are you going to reject them or are you going to leave them in the middle of nowhere we have this nine of skulls as well so this person is manifesting this union this person is uh, looking for some kind of miracle nowadays this person is praying a lot this person is continuously asking universe to uh, you know to be with you looks like this person is um obsessing over you nowadays this person is constantly thinking about you and there is not a moment when they don't think about you or when they don't think about what you would be thinking about them so they're really cautious okay in the second half of august this person is going to be really cautious they would start thinking um, 
about each and every word they say. So, you know, they may look nervous in this uh, second half of August. However, this is a general reading. This may not resonate with everyone. The energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and uh, check some more messages for you. The chariot, the justice, eight of knives, queen of scepters, prince of scepters. Okay. So here we have this chariot. With this chariot, uh, this is about some kind of action that they would try to take. They are in a hurry. Looks like they want to hunt something and you are the target. They want to hunt you down like, uh, you know, you belong to them and they want to claim you. Not like um, literal sense. I'm just saying that this person wants you desperately and they would go to any extent. Not in a negative way, of course. This person will try to prove you that they are worthy of your attention. And then they would expect this justice. They feel that one day their efforts will pay. One day you are going to give them the attention they are craving for. You might be dealing with a cancer because here this person has got this um, crab on their chest. So probably you are dealing with a cancer. Of course, it's not that necessary. This crab is also about um, emotions, the moon energy. So whoever this person is, their emotions are really strong. And uh, they would go to any extent to prove you that they are worthy of you. In a positive way, of course. They're not going to do anything uh, that doesn't make sense. Okay, or that simply seems too much. Or feels like uh, they are pushing you. So with this card of justice, looks like this person would do everything and then they would wait patiently for justice to happen. And once you let them be around you, or you can say once you let them know that you are interested, this devil will unleash itself. Now you are dealing with someone who can be really gentle on surface, looks like a gentleman or <laughs> someone who is really disciplined. But deep down inside them, there is this beast that is uh, ready to embrace you. This beast has got some real fantasies and uh, some interesting things to tell. But uh, somehow, they have kept it tight for now. Like, uh, they don't want to scare you or they don't want to make you think like um, they are someone who is, um, you know, in a hurry or who is... Um, you know, desperate about uh, something, okay, especially when it comes to lust. We have this Queen of Scepters. With this Queen of Scepters, this person thinks that uh, you are wise and you understand what they are up to. This person thinks that often you read their mind and that's why you play these mind games well. This person is someone who is a player. We have this Prince of Scepters, so... Maybe this is someone who is a player and uh, this person likes playing games, not in a negative way, but to, you know, keep some kind of excitement alive in a relationship. So this person thinks that you are really a pro at that game. You read their mind and in fact, you have defeated them many times at their own game. And this person finds it really seductive. This person thinks that you are the one because they have never found someone else before like you. Of course, you have got so much of queen energy, daughter of grails, daughter of scepters, and then this queen of scepters. You are really irresistible for this person in the second half of August. Let's check an oracle message for you. Inner healer. You are this inner healer and this person knows that um, you are not in a hurry. You are a person who is uh, aware of your own worth and they are ready to prove you that they also uh, deserve your love. They also understand your worth and uh, they can treat you like this queen 
that you are and um, this person knows that you are a healed person you are mature you are smart and your love means purity okay so this was the reading for the second half of august i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching till next video bye